All right, everyone, welcome to our 9010 Nutrition webinar. My name is Ryan Chapman. I'm actually the creator of 9010 Nutrition, and um, I'm still in my workout clothes from 5 a.m. <laughs> it's been quite a uh, busy day, but I'm so excited to do this webinar because uh, this is one of my favorite subjects. I love doing these webinars. We do them every other week, give people an idea of what 9010 Nutrition is about. Uh, most likely, one of my coaches or myself invited you to this webinar to check out what 9010 Nutrition is all about. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, people are sharing this. It's a free program. And so people are sharing it around and saying, hey, check this thing out. It's pretty cool. I'm getting results with it. I'm loving it. And uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I call it paying it forward, you know, because a lot of the people that are inviting you to check this out are getting results because they were um, participants in 9010 before they became coaches and they started working with us. And uh, they got the results and they want to share it on with other people. Um, it could happen to you too. Maybe you'll become a coach with us one day too because you'll get awesome results and you'll see how easy 9010 is to use and how, why people say what, um, what our basic main slogan is now, which is I could eat like this forever. And, and uh, you'll probably see that on a slide in just a second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my story and how I came up with 9010 Nutrition. Um, I wasn't just sitting around one day and thought, hey, you know, maybe I'll create a nutrition program. It's happened through years of battling with weight myself, with uh, trying different nutrition programs, trying different things, and having some success, but then gaining weight back, and the, the whole diet ro roller coaster that you all are, uh, many of you are probably very well aware of and know very well. So um, I'm going to take you through that story, and then I will explain the details of 9010 Nutrition, and I'm going to try to keep this in half an hour, which means I need to get going. So I'm going to share my screen with you because I've got some pictures and some slides to show you as I go. Um, and so let's just get started. Let's, let's get to it. Let me see if I can get this going quickly here. All right, you should be able to see my screen with the 9010 Nutrition logo and our little slogan, which says, I could eat like this forever. Um, let me just take you back to my childhood just a little bit. I'll try to keep this short, but um, I was, what I describe myself as is the, the fat kid who didn't know he was fat. Um, I mean, I did it different times, but like under normal everyday play situations or, or everyday situations, I didn't really consider myself fat. In fact, one of the things that I noticed about this picture when I put it in this slide presentation a couple months ago was that in my mind when I was this age, the two kids that are twins that are standing behind me right there, the um, third and fourth ones in from the right, uh, those twins were in my mind overweight and they were the overweight kids on the team. I was not the overweight kid on, on the team in my mind. But as you can see from the photo, I was at least as overweight as them and, and probably more if I'm honest, right? And, and so that was kind of the story of my life. And, and I had good athletic ability, athletic talent. I had a good throwing arm. I could catch the ball really well, good bat. Same thing later in high school in basketball. I, um, I had a good shot, uh, decent ball handling skills, uh, always, always athletic. But my weight always kind of held me back a little bit. Um, like I had the athletic talent, so to speak, to play shortstop in baseball, you know, like the all-star position. But I always played third base because I wasn't fast enough to be the shortstop. And so I never went to the all-star game, even though I had similar batting averages and, um, you know, had similar arm and stuff like that. But I wasn't the shortstop, uh, you know, that could cover all the ground. So, I, you know, that was kind of the story of my childhood is I had a great childhood. I don't want to say that, you know, like I was I was abused in, in any way. I certainly was not, had an awesome childhood. I got to play Little League. I got all kinds of, it was a great childhood. But I was overweight, and that came from pretty poor nutrition. I was one of six kids. Um, when, when you're one of six kids, you learn how to cook usually, because if, if you can at all, because your mom can't take care of, uh, you know, cooking for six kids and doing this and doing that and, you know, baseball and all this stuff all by yourself all the time. So when you get to 10 years old, you're cooking and stuff. And, you know, what do you have a 10 year old make? Well, a lot of times they're talking hamburger helper. I learned how to make spaghetti from a jar, you know, ragu spaghetti sauce or whatever, you know, like I, I did all, we, we would go to Costco, we'd get the corn dogs, uh, frozen corn dogs from Costco and the frozen bagel bites and the, you know, all the different things from Costco, right? That you can just, the, the kids can just, when they're 10, 12 years old, can just throw in the toaster oven or, you know, in the microwave and make themselves lunch or make themselves dinner. So 
really bad nutrition, lived in the South, lived in Florida. And um, that was pretty much how I grew up. Always, always overweight. Um, this Between this picture and this picture right here, I probably lost 20 to 30 pounds three different times in that three to four year span there. And it was self-inflicted. It wasn't my parents saying, you need to go on a diet. It was me saying, I need to lose some weight. And I would put myself on a 1,200 calorie diet. And I would literally go to places like Taco Bell on like a lunch break at work. I, was, I, I worked because I was homeschooled. I worked for um, a neighbor, actually, uh, during the day and, and made some money. And it was, it was actually pretty cool. But on lunch breaks, I'd go to places like Taco Bell and I would ask for the nutritional information and I would keep myself under 1200 calories and that's how I would lose weight. And I would do that for a while and I would have success and I'd lose 20 pounds. I would hate it the whole time and I'd often get made fun of for looking at nutritional information at Taco Bell. I don't know about anybody else that's watching this webinar, but I don't think that anybody thinks that 12 year olds should have to count calories at Taco Bell. I personally don't think they should be eating at Taco Bell now, <laughs> but they shouldn't have to be counting calories, right? When you're 12 years old, you shouldn't have to be counting calories and you shouldn't be hating it and going to bed hungry and feeling like, you know, you have to deprive yourself in order to lose weight and then stop and gain the weight back and then do it again, like that whole cycle. I don't think that you should be doing that at 12 years old. Well, I did and I hated it. And then this is like college and I'm just like slowly what's happening, right? It's the typical thing. I'm losing 20 pounds. I'm gaining 25 back. I'm losing 20 pounds. I'm gaining 25 back. And I'm slowly creeping my way up to the point where during college, I spent most of the time at 250 pounds or more. And again, in college, probably two or three different times, losing 30, 40, even 50 pounds at a time, and then gaining it all back. Okay. So that's a early college time frame. A little bit later, there's my Montana State um, one card, they called it your identity, your school identity. And then this is graduation of college, 260 pounds, um, biggest I'd ever been. And I got a little bit bigger after this. So I graduated about 260, maybe 260 something. And uh, that was 2003. I got a job at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in Bremerton, Washington, where I currently live. Um, I don't work there anymore, but I, I got that job there. And once I got the job, I had some money. And so I could do whatever I want. I could buy as much Mountain Dew as I wanted. And so I gained another 15 pounds and I got up to 275 pounds. Um, this is me at probably about 270 pounds or so. Um, a new shipyard employee. Um, I just met my wife who is in the center there. Um, we're not dating at this point. <laughs> um, and then I, because I had met my wife and because I was had kind of tipped over that point, I'd gone on a ski trip right before I met my wife. And I couldn't even keep up anymore because of that extra 15 pounds. Like it was bad. I knew something had to be done. And so I started to try to lose some weight again. And what did I do? I went back to my old calorie restriction diet. So I went 1,500 calories uh, because I was bigger now. I was older now than 12. So now it was 1,500 calories is what I thought was right. And I literally lost 100 pounds on a 1,500 calorie diet uh, leading up to my wedding. I, I did a... Uh, a weight loss contest with a buddy at work to lose the last 55 of it, leading right up to my wedding. Um, and actually, by the time I got to my wedding, I had lost about 85 or 90. I was down to 190 or so pounds. So um, I did it with a 1500 calorie diet. And you say, well, oh, wow, you had great success with a 1500 calorie diet. Uh, results wise, I did have a pretty good success. Um, I hated every minute of it. Let me tell you, I went to bed hungry, just like I did when I was 12. I hated having to count my calories. I hated feeling hungry all the time. I was eating foods like ice cream and M&Ms and drinking diet soda and um, eating lean cuisines for lunch. All this stuff that doesn't fill you up, that isn't real food. And I was feeling hungry all the time. And I basically had to feel hungry for a year in order to lose all that weight. And so it was not a fun year as far as, I mean, like I just, it was not fun at all. And this, this is the reason why people hate dieting, right? Doesn't everybody that's watching this pretty much, if you're not already doing 90, 10 or something that really works for you, don't you really say, I, I despise dieting. Like if you just, the thought of going on a diet is like, ugh, it's horrible, right? It's, it's depriving. It makes you, you know, 
just hate it. And that's what my life was like for many, many years. Um, eventually, I found something different um, and turned that into 9010. And I'll tell you that story. But um, one of the things that I did at the end of that weight loss contest with a buddy is I started doing triathlons. Uh, he was going to do a triathlon and I thought he was crazy because he's overweight. And I said, there's no way you can do a triathlon because I thought it was Ironman only. And he showed me a sprint triathlon. I ended up doing that sprint triathlon with him. I loved it. I went on and did an Olympic. I went on and did half Ironman. And then in 2012, I completed Ironman Arizona in under 12 hours um, at basically 100 pounds less than my highest weight. And so this is a good before and after picture of uh, from college 260 pounds to uh, I think that was 2014 or two, yeah, early 2014 when that picture was taken. Um, this is a picture of me and my dad in Mexico on the pyramids, the Aztec pyramids in, uh, in Mexico in probably 2002 or actually more like 2000, 2001. And then that's us in 2010 on the island of Kauai. And you can see the huge difference both in him and me. Um, he started running and started doing some of this 90-10 and that kind of eating as well and, uh, and had turned his weight all around too. So let's talk now about how 90-10 started. Okay. So I told you I'm a 1500 calorie diet. I'm hating the dieting hating all that kind of stuff. And now I'm trying to train for triathlons. So I don't know, you know, if you've ever tried that before, but have you ever tried training for a long distance race where you're going to go run, say 10, 15, even 20 miles, like training for a marathon. And your only way of knowing how to eat to not gain weight is to restrict calories. How does that work out when you're running 20 miles? It doesn't work out well. Eat 1500 calories for the entire day and go out and run 20 miles, which burns minimum of 2,000 calories, and tell me how you feel. It doesn't work, right? And so I would use the long runs and all that stuff as justification to eat and eat whatever I wanted. And then I wouldn't lose weight during training season, and I'd be like, what the heck? You know, like, I, I, this is such a struggle. Like, either I eat and train well, and I'm eating all this, still eating lean cuisines and who knows what, you know, trying to eat healthy food, or I starve myself and I can't train. Like these were my two options, it seemed like, right? So one day, Tony Horton, I had done P90X in 2009 and loved it and was following Tony Horton. And he posted a thing from a friend of his. Uh, he posted a note on Facebook. And the guy said in this note, he said, hey, why don't you try counting ingredients instead of counting calories and see what that does for you? And he kind of explained his idea like, about eating real food and eating low ingredient items, things that only have one ingredient or two ingredients or three ingredients, like chicken only has one ingredient. Rice has one ingredient, right? Like brown rice anyway, like rice. Um, and, and so here's what he did. He put this, he said, let me give you an example of someone, like someone's breakfast, morning snack, and lunch. And this is someone who thinks that they're eating healthy by today's standards. And he um, said, okay, what they're going to have for breakfast is Kellogg's Smart Start cereal. Sounds healthy, right? Kellogg's Smart Start cereal. And then they're going to have some wheat fins, right? Those are like fat free and those, are, you know, they're wheat, right? They're whole wheat. So those should be good for you. And then a lean cuisine. And I think he had a chicken fettuccine Alfredo lean cuisine or something like that, right? Lean cuisine even says lean in the name. And he put the uh, ingredients list up of these items. And this, what you see on the screen right now is the ingredients list of those three items. The top uh, paragraph is Kellogg's Smart Start Cereal. And then Wheat Thins. And then the big one at the bottom is the Lean Cuisine. If you try to count up all the ingredients, it's really hard because there's actually brackets and inside brackets. Like if you look down here, there's dehydrated flavorings and then two brackets because dehydrated flavorings has um, a whole bunch of ingredients, modified food starch, corn syrup, solids, flavor, smoke flavor, partially hydrogenated soybean oil. And I think we're still inside some brackets with dehydrated flavor with a new bracket, maltodextrin, citric. I mean, like, it's crazy. You know, can't even count how many ingredients because there's ingredients inside of in ingredients and it's crazy. But there's about somewhere in the order of 130 to 140 ingredients in these three items, right? And so what he did and what I've done here on this next screen is I've taken those three items in, and put them into my fitness pal, 
I, some of you might be using my fitness pal, a great way to track your calories and track what you're eating and stuff like that. But, uh, I put those into my fitness pal to see what the macros were, which is your carbs, your fat, your protein, and see how many total calories those three items were. So you can see that there are 610 calories for those three items, smart start, wheat thins and lean cuisine, um, adds up the carbs, adds up the fat, adds up the protein, 22 grams of protein. And then what I did is I made up my own meal, um, that is the same calories 614 calories so four calories different 115 carbs nine grams of fat and 21 grams of protein very very similar macros and i made it up out of uh rolled oats so oatmeal honey and blueberries the bottom two items so you got oatmeal with honey and blueberries that's pretty tasty um you know maybe some of you don't like that but that's okay that's that's an item that people like uh some grilled chicken breast some brown rice and some green beans with butter on them. And if you look at that in terms of ingredients, even though it has the same calories, the same macros, fats, carbs, proteins, all the same stuff, it's seven total ingredients compared to 130. And when I first saw this, I still was skeptical and I said, okay, right, it's got less ingredients. How does that make me healthier? And how is that gonna help me lose weight or whatever? still skeptical. So I did an experiment. Summer of 2010, 45 days. I limited my ingredients and not my calories. What happened? My average intake was 2,300 calories, not trying to limit them, just trying to limit ingredients and eat foods with few ingredients in them and eat real food, not packaged food like lean cuisines and smart start cereal and wheat thins. I was eating things like chicken, rice, vegetables, fruits, even dairy, cheese, all kinds of stuff like that but food that you could pronounce the ingredients and tell what it was. And my intake was 2,300 calories on average. So 800 more calories than I normally would have eaten to try to lose weight. And I lost 15 pounds in that 45 days. So I ate 800 more calories than I normally would to lose weight, lost 15 pounds. And interestingly, my fat intake went way up, like a lot. Normally my fat intake would probably be 20% of my total diet. It went up to like 35% from just eating real food because you know what now I could eat things like avocados which I would stay away from because fat is high in calorie density and avocados like eating half an avocado is an insane amount of calories to someone who is trying to calorie count but I was eating avocados no problem and losing 15 pounds this blew my mind when I did this I was like I can't believe I'm eating 2300 calories a day and losing weight like this. It's crazy. I started to see ab definition that I'd never seen. It was, I was in the best shape of my life. It was crazy. So in Jan by January of 2012, so it was almost a year and a half later, I had finally taken what I had learned from that low ingredient diet. I had written a blog on it that still gets quite a few hits out there, people looking at the low ingredient diet. And I had turned that into a system where I could show people an easy way to eat low ingredient with some simple rules that would make it super easy. And that turned into 9010 Nutrition. 9010 Nutrition's been through a bunch of um, little iterations. We started with five different tiers. Now what we have is three tiers. So here's how it works. Three tiers, a green tier, a yellow tier, and a red tier. And they are basically lists of foods. So what you'll find on there is things like brown rice. You'll find poultry or chicken and uh, certain types. And you will find vegetables on there. And you will find healthy fats like coconut oil and things like that. On the yellow tier, you'll find things more like white bread, white rice, um, beer, wine, things like that. And what you do is you eat 90% of your food intake from the green tier. You'll eat 10% of your food intake from the yellow tier. You're allowed to. You don't have to. You can eat 100% from the green tier if you want to. That's the healthy tier. But you're allowed to have 10% from the yellow tier. That's the 90-10 part. And only occasional planned treats. I should put that in that slide. Occasional planned treats from the red tier, which means, you know, like cake, ice cream, things like that. You got a party coming up. You plan to have a treat. Go ahead. Okay, but that's not normal food for you. No daily calorie counting. We have you come up with a calorie estimate at the beginning just to get your 10%, basically. You read ingredients, not macros only, so you're not looking at stuff going, oh, that's high in fat. Oh my gosh, that's high in carbs. Oh my gosh, that's high in protein. You're reading the ingredients and saying, is this real food? 
okay? There are also more structured options available if you want to know how many veggies to eat and how much protein to eat and track your macros a little bit better. We can help with that also, but our system is literally this simple. This is usually, when I'm doing these live where people are asking questions as we go, this is usually where the people are like, Okay, so, but, but how does it really work? <laughs> like, no, this is really it. 90% from the green tier, 10% from the yellow tier. It's actually that simple and it actually works like really well. Talk about simplifying your life. Now, now it's simple. That doesn't mean that it's easy, right? Simple and easy are not the same thing. It's difficult because the foods that you will find out there are, there's tons of packaged foods and there's so much hidden sugar out there. It's ridiculous. And so if you're used to eating packaged foods, pre-prepared foods, if you're used to eating out at fast food restaurants and stuff, then you're going to have a transition time because there's a lot of foods that you're going to be like, dang it, the ingredients list doesn't meet 90-10. Dang it, this has a, you know, and you're going to have to learn how to eat 90-10. But once you learn, it's so freeing. There's all kinds of even new foods that you've never eaten before that you learn that you like because they're on the green tier and you figure out how to make them and you love them. And it's amazing. So um, let's go through just a little bit about the system that we have. We have a calorie calculator here, which again is only used to find out, like say you come out with a 2000 calorie calculation, that means you get 200, 10%. From the yellow tier what you do now is you make sure that you limit your yellow tier to less than than 200 calories and you don't worry too much about the 2000 like you want to be within you know you don't want to eat 5000 calories because you're just like stuffing it in there going they said i could eat whatever I, you know however much i want like you need to be reasonable about it and 2000 is a decent area but you don't want to be hungry you don't need to be hungry okay if you're if you're hungry you eat a little more Okay, and if you end up at 2,200 or 2,300, if you're tracking, then we're okay, all right? I hope that makes sense. Calculate that number. Um, then we have the three options, okay? So the freedom option is the one I just explained to you. It's 90, 10, that's it. That's the whole thing. There's nothing else to it. Um, the, the, we have structure and most structure, which the structure option is basically telling you how many veggies to eat, how many grains to eat, how many fats to eat, how many everything to eat in terms of cups and tablespoons and things like that. It tells you servings. How many servings of this do you get? How many servings of that? The most structure option incorporates the 21 day fix um, from Beachbody. As, as many of you have probably seen the 21 day fix, which has these little containers for each type of food. And so this most structure option will allow you to do 90, 10 with those containers. So you'll be able to say how many veggie, uh, green containers you get each day, how many red containers you get, how many purple containers you get. And that's very similar to the structure option, but it uses those containers, which a lot of people like, and it works out really well. Okay. So those are, those are going to be your options. This is just a, a picture of what it looks like when you pick the fix option or this most structure option where you use the little containers, it'll put you in a plan. So your calories came out between 21 and 2300. You can see there that you would get six green containers, four yellow containers, four purple containers, and so on. Okay. The, the tiers are right there, uh, online versions and downloadable versions for you to use. The online versions you can save to your phone home screen and have those green, yellow, and red tiers with you all the time. The downloadable ones, yeah, they're PDFs. You can put them wherever you like on your desktop or whatever uh, and use those. Or print them out, laminate them. Let's talk about Shakeology real quick. I don't usually spend a ton of time on Shakeology. The Shakeology is a part of 9010 in the sense that we super, super highly recommend it. And every coach and many, many, many of our hundreds of people that are in our challenge group are using Shakeology on a daily basis. And why is that? Okay. First of all, I will say it is not required. Our program is free and you can come into 9010 without using Shakeology, but it is an extremely helpful tool. So when you take away lean cuisines and you take away uh, fast food and you take away all these other packaged foods um, and you say, okay, now get all your veggies in and get all this in and get all that in and get all that in. It's sometimes very, very hard to get all those things in for busy people. I'm busy. You're busy. That's just how it is. Shakeology is the only shake that I've ever seen that meets all the green tier principles of 9010. So it's a completely green tier, super easy thing to do. Throw it in your blender, throw some ice in there, throw some milk, throw some other green tier ingredients in, 
and you have breakfast or you have lunch or you have a snack or you have a post-workout shake all right there for you. So I drink Shakeology every day. It fills in the nutritional gaps for me. So I don't keep track of how much potassium I'm taking in. I don't keep track of how many, how much, just about any vitamin that I'm taking in because Shakeology pretty much covers a multivitamin. So imagine if I'm not getting enough iodine in my system, which my thyroid needs to regulate my metabolism. If I'm not getting enough of that, I know that with Shakeology that I'm taking every day, I am getting enough of that. So it fills those nutritional gaps in. So you don't have to worry and go, well, shoot, did I get enough, did I eat enough broccoli? Because I know that that's high in vitamin C. You want to eat those healthy foods, and that's really good, but this fills those nutritional gaps in for you. It's super convenient, which everybody needs, and it's like less than a Starbucks for a meal, basically. So four bucks a meal. So that's why we use Shakeology. It is the only way, I'll be upfront about this, is the only way that any of the 9010 Nutrition coaches get paid for the time that they spend coaching 9010 Nutrition. It's the only way 9010 Nutrition is any kind of a business moneymaker is through Shakeology, but we're okay with that because we believe that it absolutely speaks for itself. It's absolutely worth it. So what I request from you or what I suggest to you strongly is that you take a look at it. And whoever invited the, you to this 9010 webinar, ask them about Shakeology and consider very strongly giving it a try for the first 30 days of your time in 9010. And it has a 30 day money back guarantee on it. So if you think, you know what, I like the 9010 stuff, but I don't like the Shakeology, you send it back. And we're okay with that. You can stick with us in 9010 and just eat clean, but give this a try. You will not regret it. I've drank it for five years now and I absolutely love it. So that's enough about Shakeology. Let's go on to the support that we have with 9010. Uh, we're almost done here. So we run, like I said, 100% free monthly challenge groups. We have a huge community of people, six, 700 people that are all doing this 9010 nutrition stuff. It's growing every day. We have a well-stocked Pinterest recipe resource. So hundreds of recipes on our Pinterest boards, all organized into things like snacks and lunch and dinner and breakfast and desserts and Shakeology recipes and game day snacks and crock pot recipes and holiday recipes and all kinds of stuff. We've got great resources there. We've got some meal planning resources for you. We even have some meal plans that we can give to you. We have tips on shopping for groceries. How do you shop in the store? We have one-on-one -on -one coaching support. Every single person that comes into 9010, you just found this on our 9010 like page and you don't have a coach. If you sign up for 9010 and get in our group, you will have a coach. You'll have someone that you can one-on-one -on -one talk to about how to do this. Um, we have newsletters and blogs that go out weekly if you want to get on that list so you can get things coming into your email inbox that help you stay accountable and help you learn to eat right and give you great recipes and good thoughts and all that kind of stuff. Um, I already said hundreds of people to go on the journey with you. We literally do have hundreds of people in there. Um, how do you get involved? Go to 9010nutrition.com, click on the get started on the homepage right below the main video, fill out the registration form and pick your coach that invited you. If someone invited you to this, they most likely are a coach. If they're not in the drop down list in the registration form, then just put their name in the comments and, and I'll either get them added to that or I'll figure out who is going to be coaching you based on that person we put there, okay? If you don't have a coach, you can leave it as a default and we'll get you one, either me or one of my coaches. You'll get access to all of our resources and tools. You'll also get added to a basics group that will teach you how to do 90-10 nutrition um, in more depth than what we went to on this webinar. Uh, it'll give you some ideas of how to get started and all that kind of stuff for five days and then you'll get access to our really big community with the hundreds of people. Um, so then you can get your Shakeology ordered through your coach so you can try it for that first 30 days and then you get amazing results and you live and that is it. And so all I'm going to ask now is I'm going to turn the screen share off. So it's just back to me. You get to see my mug a lot bigger here and then um, Q&A. There is a Q&A section on uh, your screen there if you're on, uh, on this webinar. So you can click on the Q&A and ask any question that you have. Uh, we'll give about five minutes here. Well, actually, I'll give about two minutes for somebody to start asking questions, and then we'll go through as many questions as you guys have, okay? I'm going to give you one to two minutes to type because um, sometimes it takes a little while to type in your questions. Oh, we already have one. Uh, Shakeology seems like the way to go, but how much does it cost? So it's about $4. 
per serving, and it comes in 30 serving bags. So you're going to run about $129 for a month of Shakeology. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click that I answered that one live. Got all these options on this webinar. So it's about $129. There's other options though, and there's ways to get Shakeology for cheaper than that, 25% off. You can ask the person that invited you here how to get it for 25% off. You can basically get a either a actual coach account where you become a coach or a discount coach account where you're just there for the discount. So you get 25% off. Um, so you can get it for more like three or three fifteen per uh, per shake. Okay, I know personally I pay three twenty one for a for a iced coffee at at Starbucks on on average. So um, and that basically covers a meal for you. So yeah, about four bucks. Hopefully I answered that question for you. Um, and you can also get the workout programs that Beachbody does, which is the company that makes Shakeology, Beachbody, right? P90X, Insanity, T25, Pio, the new dance program size. There's some of these that you can actually get for $10 when you buy Shakeology. So if you're thinking, hey, I want to get Shakeology, talk to your coach about the workout programs as well, because you could get that option in there for almost nothing. Um... Isn't this just like any other diet? What happens when I stop doing 90-10? Won't I just gain the weight back? Well, so that, yes, with any diet that you do, if you stop doing the diet and go back to eating fast food or go back to eating uh, too much food or eating the wrong foods, then you will absolutely gain the weight back. Absolutely true. But here's the difference with 90-10 is that because you are not restricting calories, you're eating the right foods you're eating real food, you're not hungry anymore. And so you fall in love with it. And that's why our slogan is, I could eat like this forever. It's not because we made that up. It's because people kept saying that I could eat like this forever. I've got stories of people like uh, my friend, Lisa Madsen, who got on this program, who was doing the same thing as me, trying to eat 1200 calories and train for a marathon. And when she started doing 90, 10, she was scared because she was eating so much more food. And then she actually lost weight, ate more food, wasn't hungry, was able to train better. And so now it's like, does she fall off the wagon? Do I fall off the wagon in a sense, like, you know, go to a party um, and then end up like, oh, you know, getting tired and ordering pizza one night or something. Sure. We, we do that every once in a while. But in general, it's really easy to get back on the wagon because this is not work like other diets are where you just feel like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. Like you feel like, this is just how I think about food now. This is just how I do it. I don't, I don't think about it like a diet. I think about it like this is how food should be eaten. And I enjoy it. And I eat avocados. And I eat uh, steak. And I eat chicken. And I eat rice. And I eat all these foods. And it's not like I have to get a 100-calorie pack of M&Ms and, and eat seven M&Ms because I'm trying to keep my calories down, if that makes sense. So if you go back to eating fast food and lean cuisines and uh you know not eating 90 10 will you gain it back yes but you won't want to that's kind of the point uh, let's see we've got another one to add to the answer about going off 90 10 once you get going with it you'll be amazed how you automatically look at labels and think about what you put in your body exactly exactly that's what melinda says Agreed. You will think about what you put in your body and it's just different. It's different than being on a diet. It really is like changing the way you think about food so that it's more of a lifestyle for you. And so you walk in the store and you won't even want some of the things that you used to want because you now know you read the label and you get the idea and you know how you feel when you eat correctly. And it's not hungry. That's the thing is a lot of people are like, they don't want to diet because they don't actually feel good when they're dieting. They feel like they're losing weight, which makes them feel good emotionally, but physically they don't feel good because they're hungry and they're eating, still eating food that's not actually nutritious and not filling them up. When you eat 90-10, you not only lose weight, but you feel physically good because you're eating good, real food. And add Shakeology into that with all the superfoods and all the vitamins, and you're making sure that you're getting all those things that make your body work really well, and you just feel good. Like, like you could be up an extra hour a day 
or maybe even two because you just have that much more energy and you feel good. You have to experience it. It's really true. More questions. Hopefully I answered. You never know because you got to type in another question for me to be able to. We can't have a chat here uh, verbally. So uh, anybody else? A couple more minutes here. Just to make sure everybody's got their questions answered. And I'm going to go downstairs and actually eat a 90-10 dinner. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, I got another question. How is this for diabetes? Great question. This is great for diabetes. Um, you know, I always say when somebody has a medical condition, you know, we're not medical practitioners here. Um, and, you know, so I never say, hey, you know, oh, it's absolutely fine but you should talk to your doctor. But the, the truth of the matter is, is that all of this is just eating real food and, and it works really well for diabetes. I've seen, for instance, my dad who, uh, you know, lost all that weight. He was basically diagnosed as a diabetic. And once he started 90-10 in Shakeology, he went back to his doctor and they took him off of basically all of his uh, diabetes medication. And they say, once you're diagnosed with it, you can't be, you, you don't go to non-diabetic, you just go to, you know, less medication and you don't have high A1Cs and all that kind of stuff anymore. But um, he basically was taken off all of his diabetes medication. And actually Shakeology specifically is um, backed by the American Diabetes Association. So, um, uh, da -da -da. Another question, I'm th or, or a statement more, <laughs> I'm thinking about this, but I don't think my family will be on board. Okay, so that's a, that's a uh, you know, definitely a concern uh, about the family being on board. If the family's not interested in eating healthy, then that can be a problem. And I've seen that, we have that in our uh, 9010 groups a lot, where people are like, I can't get my family to eat this way. Um, I think one of the things that really helps with that is people will... Um, kind of slowly make changes to the family meals where, you know, one, you used to make this particular casserole or this particular um, dish this way and you replace a couple things like white rice with brown rice and they complain a little bit, but then they get used to it. Or you take white pasta or regular pasta and you replace it with 100% whole wheat and they get used to it and they start to not mind anymore. But you don't make massive changes all of a sudden in people who are not interested in making changes. You know, like going from where every Friday night is pizza night and it's just like, no more pizza night. Now we eat broccoli. You know, like we do, I don't necessarily recommend that, but you can make changes slowly. You don't have to think about this, uh, especially with a family as something that you have to do like all of a sudden you can work your way slowly into that 90, 10 stuff um, with a family. A lot of what I see people do is, you know, most people don't eat breakfast and lunch and all snacks together as a family. They eat dinner together maybe as a family. And that's something that's everybody's eating the same thing, even if not at the same time, because everybody's busy. Um, but so someone is making themselves 90, 10 lunch and 90, 10 breakfast or using Shakeology for lunch or using Shakeology for breakfast while their family eats pop tarts or whatever they want to eat. And then for dinner, there's kind of a in-between compromise where maybe you're not eating 100% 90-10 and your family's not eating 100% bad. Like you're, you're kind of slowly working them into that, if that makes sense. So it's doable, but it, it is a concern. Agreed. Other questions? This is good. I'm glad people are uh, asking questions. I enjoy that be able to answer some of that stuff. Give you another minute or two here, a minute. Type up any questions you have. I do want to say thank you for everyone for being on tonight. Um, I really enjoy telling this story. It has just done so much for me and for so many people that I know. And so it's fun to talk about it and just share it with people. I hope you'll be, uh, in our communities. I hope to see some of you in there soon in our 9010 basics for learning how to do 9010 and then in the big community and that you'll be interactive there, ask questions, um, you know, be curious. And if you need a recipe for something, ask, does anybody have a recipe for this? And take a look at the Pinterest boards and use all the resources that we've created. We have so much stuff out there that can help you if you just get engaged with it. So 
we're putting stuff out all the time. Uh, Lisa and I are filming videos almost every week. We're putting out recipes, we're doing blogs, we're doing all kinds of stuff to try to help you guys uh, stay on track. So I think that's gonna be it. I'm not seeing any more questions. So again, thank you everybody for being on. Thank you for joining our webinar. I'm gonna stop the recording and end the meeting.